Divide 6x squared plus 31x plus 28 by x plus 4. We're going to use a long division process to learn how to do this. x plus 4 divides into 6x squared plus 31x plus 28. Now the first thing that we do is we focus only on the, the lead term in the monomial, or in the divisor. So let's focus on the x. And what we ask ourselves is, what's 6x squared divided by x? 6x squared divided by x is 6x. Now, when we multiply back, we multiply back through the entire divisor. So that would give us a 6x squared and a plus 24x. Now that we've done the multiplication, when we multiply back, well now we have to subtract that whole thing. So subtracting 6x squared minus 6x squared, 0. Alright, so we don't write anything in its place. 31x minus 24x is 7x. And we drop down the plus 28 and we repeat the process. 7x divided by x is 7. Multiplying back, 7 times x is 7x, 7 times 8, 4 is plus 28, subtracting leaves 0. So there's no remainder. So what that tells us is 6x squared plus 31x plus 28 divided by x plus 4 is equal to 6x plus 7. Let's look at another one. 20x squared plus 27x minus 10 divided by 5x minus 2. All right, again, let's set it up. 5x minus 2 divides into 20x squared plus 27x minus 10. Focusing on the lead term. 20x squared divided by 5x leaves 4x. Multiplying back through the entire divisor. 20x squared minus 8x. Subtracting that whole quantity. 20x squared minus 20x squared is 0. 27x minus negative 8x. Here's where we tend to make errors. That's 27 plus 8. That's a 35x. Bring down the minus 10. Division. 35x divided by 5x is a plus 7. Multiplying back. 7 times 5x is 35x. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Subtracting that entire quantity. 35x minus 35x is 0. Negative 10 minus negative 14. That's negative 10 plus 14. That's a positive 4. So we have a remainder this time. The remainder is 4. So here's what we would write. 20x squared plus 27x minus 10 divided by 5x minus 2 is equal to 4x plus 7 plus the remainder over the divisor. Plus 4 over 5x minus 2.